Hi, we're looking at uh, the first uh, transceiver that I had made since I started uh, doing homebrew stuff. So this one is a direct conversion uh, receiver and a matching uh, double sideband uh, transmitter. In contrast with the single sideband, this uh, transceiver transmits uh, both upper and uh, lower sideband, hence the name double sideband. The receiver is a direct conversion type. And uh, let's have a look uh, inside. Uh, this transceiver was constructed uh, the ugly uh, method and it started its life as a, a simple direct conversion receiver. It worked, but uh, we only get to hear the uh, strongest stations. So I added uh, an RF stage and a bandpass filter and also an additional uh, audio stage to uh, boost the uh, audio signal. The heart of the uh, transceiver is a ceramic uh, resonator uh, BFO uh, operating at uh, 3.58 uh, megahertz and it's doubled to get a 7 megahertz signal. Here we have the uh, double balance mixer for the transmitter and uh, the uh, audio amplifier for the microphone and the uh, output from the uh, double balance mixer is the uh, modulated uh, RF without carrier of course this is the pre-driver the uh, driver and an uh, IRF 510 uh, final this is the uh, bias uh, regulator 5 volt regulator and uh, inside the uh, shielded uh, portion is the uh, pi filter for the transmitter On the front panels, we have the uh, main uh, tuning, the uh, volume control, some speaker jack, uh, some form of uh, RIT or uh, receiver increment tuning, a tone switch, and the uh, transmit switch. Uh, this transceiver covers the uh, lower part of the uh, 40 meter band, uh, namely the uh, CW portion and uh, a little bit of the uh, uh, pawn uh, section of the uh, 40 meter band. Now let's try to uh, shift this on, see if we can uh, receive some uh, signals. Well, there's a contest going on, so the band is a bit crowded. Some more CW signals.
There you have it. Thanks for watching.